Hello everyone, it's Charlton. Please subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell. I'd appreciate it majorly. So uh, I just want to play with for you very quickly the um, that 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 exchange between between uh, Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders after the debate on Tuesday, where uh, it gets caught on a hot mic. We never knew. We knew, everyone called it a tense exchange and stuff. And it's about about the comment the back and forth between the two campaigns you know that the Elizabeth Warren campaign basically says that the the two of them met early on I think a year before the election you know and um, the Elizabeth Warren campaign even Elizabeth Warren herself has pretty much gone on the record saying that you know he said a woman couldn't win and he denies that basically so um, here's the hot mic thing and um, just a sec. Good evening. It was an extraordinary moment. As you said, it was seen but not heard as Elizabeth Warren came face to face with Bernie Sanders in the moments right after the debate last night in Iowa. Now, rivals were shaking hands and they were congratulating each other for a job well done. But Warren clearly had something on her mind to tell Sanders. And tonight, we know just what it was. With applause still ringing at the end of the Democratic debate in Iowa last night, the simmering feud between Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders suddenly boiled over. I think you called me a liar on national TV. I think you called me a liar on national no. TV. Let's not do it right now. You want to have that discussion, we'll have that Any discussion. Problem? You called me a liar. You told me. All right, let's not do it I'm now. Not, I don't want to get in the middle, but I just want to say hi, Bernie. Yeah, good. Okay. She walked away without a handshake after intentionally trying to de-escalate the fight earlier in the debate. Bernie is my friend, and I am not here to try to fight with Bernie. But Warren wanted to make a point that a woman can win the presidency. It was one of the most memorable lines of the night. Look at the men on this stage. Collectively, they have lost 10 elections. The only people on this stage who have won every single election that they've been in are the women. They were sparring over a comment Warren says Sanders made during a private meeting in 2018 that a woman couldn't win the White House. Sanders strongly denied ever making such an assertion. As a matter of fact, I didn't say it. Uh, and I don't want to waste a whole lot of time on this because this is what Donald Trump and maybe some of the media want. Uh, anybody knows me knows that it's incomprehensible that I would think that a woman could not be president of the United States. In the moment, Warren disagreed, but waited more than an hour later. So, I mean, he chooses, he, Bernie chooses his words very carefully there, very carefully saying that he never said a woman cannot be president. You know, the, 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 what I think the Elizabeth Warren campaign accuses him of saying is that a woman couldn't win. And, uh, you know, based on watching that, if you're a, if you're an honest, fair observer, I think if you love, love Bernie, you're not going to, you're not going to see it the way I see it. But, uh, you know. I believe her. I do. I'm a, I'm positive of it. And that exchange totally proves it because he he wants to have nothing to do with it. And you know, I think that was actually a very smart move on Elizabeth Warren's part. I didn't want to comment too much on this, and this is just showing. She's just illustrating that she can stand up to people, you know. And um, and I she can. I think I think on the all the people on there that this she's the one without any doubt in my mind. She's the one that the Trump people, that Trump, are worried about more than anybody, big time. And I honestly think that she is going to be the next president of the United States. Nobody, very few people believe me about that, but I feel it pretty, pretty strongly. She had a great night that night, and, um, you know, I didn't watch it all. I just saw, I could just tell, you know, I mean, it's just, it's just a feeling, you know, when you watch things. It's not even necessarily what they say so much. You can just tell. And, uh... I mean, I, I do like her, and and uh, so I'm totally fine with her being president of the United States. And even though I'm like, you know, an ultra-conservative, I just don't care about those things anymore. I think they're all baloney, and the corruption is out of control. And I think that's that's at the centerpiece of her person and her campaign. I'm all for it, F fighting the corruption, the ultra-wealthy, ultra-wealthy corruption that's just taken over everything. And that's the story there, man. Thanks for watching. My videos, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.